WMAR 2 News at 6 begins now with breaking news. Welcome into WMAR 2 News at 6. Thanks for watching and streaming us tonight. I'm Kelly Swoop. And I'm Jamie Costello. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Howard County, a school placed on lockdown after a threat was called in. WMAR 2 News, Jeff Hager live in Clarksville. Jeff, what have you learned? Well, Jamie, it was the threat of mass violence at River Hill High School, which has turned life as normal virtually upside down here in Clarksville, Maryland. Behind me, you're going to see the Ten Oaks Ballroom in Clarksville. Still parents trickling here in lines as they go up to buses that are being brought from the school with police escorts to finally be reunited with their kids. This, after a form of, the, the threat came in the form of a telephone call just before 2 o'clock this afternoon. The caller claimed the student had a bomb and a gun at the school and meant to do some damage. They went into lockdown. Some people said their students or children then called them on cell phones telling them they were being told to lay flat down on the floor. Traffic tied up along 108 as parents began walking there to see if their children were safe. Parents like Miriam Plakar. You know, as I'm driving over here, I kept thinking that I'm like, this is literally like the, the thing that me and my husband stay awake and talk about at night every time there's a school shooting, like what would happen if this was in our school? And you just don't think it's possible. Um, but again, the response from the police was so quick and the kids were, you know, very proactive in communicating with us and keeping us in touch. And so, it, it, like I said, it was best worst case scenario. If this had to happen, at least no one's hurt, as far as we know. Um, and again, one of the police officers has pointed out to me, if there's someone was hurt, there'd be some ambulances here and there isn't. So that's great news. And, uh, you know, if it had to happen, at least this is the best ending we could ask for. So I'm, I'm really grateful for that. Yeah, am I really going to think about sending them to school the rest of this week? Absolutely. But, you know, again, it could be much worse. And I'm trying to keep that in mind. The first thing you'll do. Now, the call of that threat came in about 2 o'clock today by about 3.30. Howard County Police said that the threat had ended. The students were going to be all right. You might ask why hours later, people still being reunited with their loved ones here and students who came here by bus and it was because law enforcers had to go classroom to classroom clearing each one before they could then bring one classroom full of students out at a time onto a single bus bring them up here and at, as we speak right now there's but still been no formal word from police but we have seen some images surface of someone being led away in handcuffs near the school we have been told without any veri verification that there might have been someone with a gun that was found outside the school. We will have to wait to see if that indeed was the case. Reporting live in Howard County, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News. All right, thanks a lot, Jeff. We sent out a push alert to let everybody know this as soon as we heard out from police. So if you want to stay on top of the breaking news, scan this QR code, grab your phone, open up your camera and point it at the screen. It's going to take you to a link to download our WMAR 2 News app.